Hello, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to talk about leather versus ballistic nylon. So on the table here, we have my wrist straps. These are not just for looks. These are actually to support the wrist when you're carrying your camera with large lenses. We have some spider holster plates. We have some spider pads. We have the spider holster belt. We have a gun belt with one single spider holster. We have a ranger belt with dual spider holsters. And back here, we have a hold fast money maker. One of the downsides about nylon is it does not wear well. So once you start getting a wear pattern in it, it start, it's going to start to fray. And I have had some friends that wear this system and their belts just look like crap. It looks like a pair of old tennis shoes with holes in it. It just doesn't give you that classic look that leather will give you if you have blemishes or uh, imperfections in it. It just adds character to your leather. So this pad here, it, I've had to heat seal it with a lighter and get rid of all the frays. But once it goes through, that pad's pretty much done. It just, it's just going to look like crap and you're not going to want to show up to a main shoot with holy socks and holy shoes. It's just not going to look good. Another thing is, and I'm not a fan of the pads themselves. This is the reason why I went with a ballistic nylon belt. It has a double locking system. Again, you can go uh, think tank, uh, low profile, or whatever they're called. Um, you can go with their belts, but this one here is a gun belt, so it's built more durable than your camera photography belts. And I liked it a lot better because it didn't have the pads that blocked my pockets. But, and again, I didn't like the ballistic nylon, so I went straight to a gun belt. Nice thing about gun belts is, again, they're made to hold a lot of weight off of it. You can always change out your buckles and your hardware to be brass, bronze, chrome, whichever way you want to go so it matches your outfits. Uh, when I put this one together, this one has Chicago screws, so it's easy to take off all the hardware and change it out. Let's go back here to the Hold Fast Money Maker. They want you to, everyone know that you are wearing a genuine money maker by Hold Fast because everything on that strap is labeled Hold Fast. The D-rings have Hold Fast written on it. The sliders have hold fast on it. Here we have the branding in the front. We have branding on the inside. All the buckles have their little logos on it. And just to show that it is a genuine hold fast money maker. On the sales clips, I don't even know why they even offer these with this ballistic nylon on the end of it. They should just sell the pull tabs leather, which they don't have those on their site. So people can buy those because that's one of the main topics is that ballistic nylon. Sure, you can buy the belt with it when you pre-order your belt, but it'd be nice if they offered it on the website. Just like the, the tethering straps, you can buy those in ballistic nylon or you can buy those in leather. So again, it'd be nice if they offered just the pull tabs. Same way with Spider Holster. It'd be nice if Spider Holster offered a leather belt version. Um, again, it doesn't have to have the pads. It could be just a leather belt with their logo stamped into it. It would be nice if they offered that because I would be one of the first people to buy it. Because uh, again, I'd rather have leather over ballistic nylon. Ballistic nylon will breathe. Leather doesn't. But this leather will outlast this ballistic nylon hands down. I have leather from before World War II and it's still soft and malleable as if it was when it first was produced. The thing is with leather you have to take care of it, you have to moisturize it, you have to mink oil it, you, whatever you have to do, but you have to um, take care of it. 
So your sweat and the salt from your sweat will dry your belt out and ruin your belts or your harnesses. Make sure you are taking the time to sit there and every few months or whatever, go ahead and treat your and rehydrate your systems. That's another thing about ballistic nylon. You don't have to do that, but you need to go around with your lighter and take off all your frays because again, frays look like crap. I choose leather over the ballistic nylon. Again, I don't want to look tactical. I don't want to look like a police officer. It's better. I like the detective Western look compared to the ballistic nylon. Again, this is just my opinion and my two cents. My name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching.